I've bartended all over the world, and somehow I ended up in this beautiful small town where my neighbors make moonshine. And I'm gonna show you some moonshine mixology. Happy holidays, everyone. Coming to you from the Founders House dining room, and I couldn't think of a better time to share Still Fired's Naughty Nog. We're gonna need a shaker. First thing you're gonna wanna do is to juggle your yolk. So we're gonna crack an egg. We're gonna spill the whites. And you're just gonna try and capture that yolk. Getting rid of as much of the white as possible. There we go. Back and forth, right in there. Perfect. Discard that, use that for a whiskey sour later on. All right, next up we're gonna need some milk alternative. I've, you can use milk. I've chosen to go with oat milk. Just gonna go right ahead for one ounce in there. And then some full fat whipping cream, so 35%. Nice generous amount. Next up, we're gonna need a sweetener. I've chosen maple syrup, seeing as how we can get it so close at hand here in the valley. Another ounce of that. The alcohol that I've chosen, I couldn't really decide between which rum I like better. So I've got the uh, Rapture of the Deep, and then I've also got the Spiced Molasses Moonshine. So we're gonna head and do it an ounce of each of those right into the shaker. Beautiful. Now, this is where we do a dry shake first. So you're gonna need your spring. Give it a good shake. The goal here is to get the cream and the egg yolk all work together. Perfect. Okay. That's all done. Take that spring out. Now we're gonna need to do our wet shake on some ice. I always like it in a rocks glass. Yeah. Nice, thick homemade eggnog. No reason to get the store-bought stuff. To top it off with a little bit of ice. And now this is a personal preference. You can use nutmeg, you can use cinnamon, or you can go ahead and use both. Give a little bit of a microplane of each one on there. And you've got yourself some Naughty Nog. I'm Gavin Robichaux. Have you had your moonshine today? <laughs>